Good afternoon. Um, I love when I say good afternoon. I don't know what I'm leading into. Like it's a very serious narration of some sort of uh, documentary. Um, I want to talk about being equally yoked and unequally yoked. I'm actually really not going to get fully into it right at this moment. I'm going to do a video a little deeper, but it's been on my mind off and on. It really never leaves me. And I, I keep thinking about how many people are being unrighteously judged and condemned. And I know some have called uh, called me a, 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 a hypocrite or whatever that I judge people, but I, I don't judge with unrighteousness. It's with righteousness as the Bible says. I don't condemn anyone because that's not my place to do so. Well, I guess that's another <clears throat> topic in itself. But I think there are reasons to be divorced. And really, one of those reasons, is, is, like I said, the Bible says, adultery is it. That's, they, there you go. And, uh, and I think people are, I think there are a lot of people in that boat that they feel like, you know, can I remarry? Can I, can I be with somebody else when, you know, I'm divorced? It wasn't my choice to be divorced. And what do you do? And I, I think the short answer to that is yes, you were not the the perpetrator. You were the victim. You were not um, you were not the one who initiated the divorce, uh, or I should say, you were not the one who initiated the the breaking of that uh, covenant of that uh, of that bond of that uh, of that marriage. Uh, I guess I'm stumbling over my words a little bit, trying to figure out the right way to say it, but. You know, there are too many people who are condemning people for that. I do believe you should be married. I don't believe in the same way of marriage fully that the government tells me. Um, and I made a video a long time, about a year ago about that. But I'm going to do, I'll talk about it in an upcoming video. But it's really important to, to be equally yoked going in. Uh, not unequally. Because... You're not going to fully change that person. They already have to be at that level where you're at, kind of. Um, they don't have to be at 100% at the same spiritual level. But if they're not even attempting to find God or, or, or if they're not even a Christian, then we've already got problems from the get-go. It's just it's going to be a big issue. It's going to be a problem down the road. So for those who are condemning uh, and judging people unrighteously in a divorce without really knowing what happened, um, and I don't say it just from my own personal view, but I really feel that there are people who are victims of a divorce and has nothing to do with them doing something unbiblical, you know? So I, I, I worry about that. I worry about even churches that do the same thing. And don't tell me that they don't because there are churches that do. And that is unbiblical. So... I'm sorry that I made this video a little short and fast, but I'm going to make one. It's just been weighing on my mind, but I'm going to make a deeper video about that. That uh, there's a lot of unrighteous condemnation and judgment on people who are divorced. There is there is divorces that shouldn't happen, that are that should have never taken place, and then there are marriages that should have never taken place. Um, but we're going to get into that because we, we have to talk about equally yoked and unequally yoked. And there are people in the church today, oh, I'm dating someone who's not a Christian. Get out. I'm sorry. Get out. I, I don't I don't think you should be there. I, uh, that's my personal experience and my personal view. But um, you can't change the world in a relationship. You can change people on the street more than you can change someone you're in a relationship with. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. Sometimes you're with someone, you're going a different way. If you're going a different way and they're not going, get out. You can't force them to. You, you, you can't. Take the time off. Again, I made this video a little bit longer. I apologize, but I'm going to make another video on that. It, it's a serious topic that people, and I'm repeating myself, because I'm really bothered about the even the churches who are condemning people. Um, I did not go to a church that condemned me. Uh, for my past divorce, but there are churches that do that, and I'm aware of them. 
Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Um, God bless and have a terrific day.